Jake from Dark Wolf Knives. Um, I got an email from a, a client earlier this evening, and apparently I am so far behind, he's requesting me just to send the knife unfinished, and I, I can't do that. That's just... Anyways, uh, my health has been... If I said it was complete crap, would be an understatement. So it doesn't matter anymore. Um, this is where it gets a little bit complicated for this knife. Um, since this knife has bolsters and they are angled, uh, it makes it extremely difficult to set up a, a design for these bolsters. I'll show you here in a minute what I mean. Uh, to do this, we're going to have to adjust our platen to uh, create the proper angle. Now, if you look at my bolsters here, uh, you might be able to see it. Let's see, let's see if I can zoom you in a little bit. All right. Now, if you notice the bolsters right here, uh, right here, maybe you can, maybe you can't, I don't know. Sorry about the lighting. You'll notice that they're uh, slightly angled uh, up towards the front of the knife. There you go. You can see it. They kind of angle outward a little bit. Uh, to fix that, uh, we have to, uh, to put the Sorry if I sound a little bit uh, lightheaded. I don't, know, I don't know how else to explain it. Um, now to to get these to fit properly, I have to grind the uh, the uh, the front of the uh, Jesus the knife scales here, the handle scales, at an angle to match this bolster angle or else you'll have a big gap in there and it'll look really stupid and nothing will fit right. And we don't want that. So what we've got to do is figure out exactly what that angle is. Um, to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to take my little angle gauge here. Let me zoom you out a little bit more so you can watch a little bit more of this maybe, I hope. All right, turn this on. I'm going to stick this right on my table, and then we're going to zero it. So now my table is perfectly flat. Well, relatively speaking, anyways. Next, I'm going to set uh, the knife on the, um, the table set this on there and it's still exactly zero so what we need to do is figure out exactly what this angle is by matching the angle of the bolster here which looks like it's going to be about oh, nine degrees So what we're going to do is we're going to stick my gauge here on the on the platen, loosen the platen, and we're going to angle it backwards. Well, after I pull the table out a little bit, so I got room. And we're going to angle this at exactly nine degrees. Point nine nine point one zero. About as much as I can get it without messing 
something up. So, now when I stick my scales on here and grind it, the end of them will be a perfect uh, match angle to the uh, to the bolsters, and it'll sit right up against it. Uh, well, almost. Uh, the one slight difference is one second. Put away. Uh, the one difference being that the inside of this uh, this bolster here also has a slight radius. Uh, which is a slight rounded, so we'll have to, uh, um, after we get this angle exactly correct, we'll, uh, we'll take a file and uh, round the edge just enough to where it fits exactly perfect. So, let me close the door on the shop and we'll get started. Because right now it's 11 p.m. at night, so. <laughs> All right, I'll be back in a second. go we got the uh, both of these here fit at nine degree well 8.9 9.1 but you can see there a nice angle now I got to take this over here and file them the radius on the uh, bottom edge here so that they'll fit on the uh, knife there perfectly so let's run over here to the uh, to the workbench that is filled full of everything on the freaking planet and get the file out. All right, everyone. Let's find the file. Maybe this one might work. I'm not exactly sure. We will find out. exactly as sharp as I want. Pretty crappy file. And I don't know where my new ones are at. Huh. Awesome. I love being ill prepared for everything.
don't have to file this, you know, all the way across, just where the bolster is going to meet it. That is almost freaking perfect. Don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. Oh, there is no gap where it meets up. So since that is almost exactly freaking perfect, we can. We'll we'll have to. Uh, uh, scratch up, you know, with some like 80 or 60 grit sandpaper and scratch up the inside of this so that the uh, epoxy uh, has got more tooth to stick to. Uh, also on the uh, handle of the uh, knife itself also. So let's take this other piece here, our other scale, and file it as well. some of this epoxy on this where I glued the uh, the uh, liner to the the scale has got some very sharp spots on it where the uh, where the clamp was clamped to it and it formed around it left little sharp edges it kind of cuts my fingers when I hold on to it the wrong way Sometimes when you're filing, it'll leave a, a slight burr between the uh, this blue and the black here, um, which will give you a, an uneven fit also. So basically you got to make sure you're sanding enough, to, uh, filing enough through the blue that you're actually hitting the, uh, the black, the uh, scale. Some good coarse sandpaper would would help also. The handle here has got a slight, slight warp to it, just the, uh, enough to where it kind of throws off the uh, the flatness of a scale. And since the handle is just as hard as the blade is, I can't take that out without seriously messing something up. So I'll have to uh, either make sure it clamps it out of it, and when I put the thing on uh, put the scale on it or else I'm going to have to uh, uh, fill it with epoxy like extra like epoxy filler or something to get that warp out of there
it's going to suck a little bit. All right, well, I'm just going to have to uh, add some epoxy filler in there. And when I put this together with the uh, the all thread, which will be stainless uh, quarter inch all thread, there's no way it's ever going to slip or come off or anything like that once it's epoxied together. So that's about that. Now I'm going to take my checkering file here real quick. And coarse finish so the uh, epoxy will, will easily adhere to that. The epoxy won't uh, adhere to something extremely slick or smooth. It'll, uh, it'll just pop right off. Also, the glue that fits into all these little crevices and, and hills and everything creates much more uh, surface area than it does just plain, plain flat. It's almost like triples or quadruples the surface area, or even more sometimes, you know. It's just, just creates a ton of surface area, so you get a lot more uh, adhesion strength. scratches. It's going to be a little hard since, like I said, the handle here is just as hard as the blade is, which is... Ouch. And remember, Tom, never, ever, ever put an edge on your knife until it's ready to ship out the door because polishing it or anything like that or even just holding it like this is extremely dangerous if it's sharp because it just takes one slip and you could cut your wrist or you cut a finger off or a major artery or a tendon or something and your career is over in about 30 seconds if you don't bleed to death or die you know? I mean you could easily slip and stick this thing through your chest or something or, or a major you know artery or something in your leg or a vein or something and you're and it's over. You know, a tendon and you lose complete use of that finger or, or hand or arm or anything like that very easily. Just completely wreck your whole day. Surface scratches. 
So now I'm going to take it and I'm going to epoxy it up. Well, I'll be able to epoxy one side onto it tonight and clamp it up. And then uh, when I come out tomorrow, I'll, uh, I'll drill the holes through the uh, metal side here and through the, uh, like, uh, like uh, it'll be epoxied on like this. And then uh, I'll drill through it here and the holes will be perfect. And then I'll uh, epoxy on this other side and then flip it over and drill a hole through from this side to the other side. And everything will be perfect. And then I'll epoxy on the the uh, stainless uh, all thread pins. And then I'll just shape it out and contour it and make its Kydex sheath and polish it up by one good time and sharpen it and throw it in the mail. And then Nick will have his awesome, awesome chef knife, and I hope he's happy with it. I'm sorry it's taken so long, Nick. I really do. I'm sorry. It's just, you know, shit you never expect to happen. It fucking happens every damn day. But uh, it will get done. I mean, I'd, I'd rather, you know, have a happy customer, you know, than anything. No matter what extremes I have to go to to finish it, it'll get done. It might be a little late, but it'll be done. All right, everyone. I'm going to go and epoxy up one of the sides here and clamp it up and get it ready for drilling tomorrow. And I'll have this. I should be able to have this done and start shaping it tomorrow evening. Um, probably like 5 or 6 p.m. tomorrow night. And, yep. <laughs> Alright, everyone. Sorry about the length of the video here. Y'all take care now. Have a great night.